a ridiculous contraption which could go faster than the wind in the direction of the wind that Derek made on Veritasium. Along the way, Derek mentioned that a sailing boat can do a similar thing, but not directly downwind. And I thought, you know what? I want an intuitive explanation for how this works. I want someone who's gonna make a ridiculous model to help me understand what's going on. So look, the wind comes in from here, it pushes on the sail and it pushes the boat, call it a boat, can't we? Uh, in this direction here. So what is the theoretical maximum speed of this boat? Let's assume that there's no resistance. That's a ridiculous assumption, but it's useful for our understanding here. Well, the maximum speed of the boat is the speed at which the sail exactly misses the incoming air. Let me explain what I mean by that. Imagine you've got a packet of air coming in at this speed and the boat is moving at just the right speed that the sail exactly misses that packet of air. The packet of air is unaffected by the sail at this precise speed. For completeness, here's a whole load of packets of air failing to be affected by that sail because the boat is moving at just the right speed. If the boat were going any slower, that packet of air would be deflected slightly. And so the boat would increase in speed until it reached that magic speed. Again, this is all assuming that there's no resistance. With the sail at 45 degrees like this, the speed of the wind and the speed of the boat are actually the same. Look, by the time that packet of air has traveled this distance, the boat has traveled this distance. They match when the sail is at 45 degrees. But what if we change the angle of the sail so it's like this. So now in the time it takes for this packet of air to move this distance, the sailboat has moved this distance. It's actually traveling faster than the wind. And remember, if the boat were going any slower than that, it would be deflecting the air and there would be a reaction force speeding the boat up. At this point, you might think, well, why don't we angle the sail so it's really, really close to the direction of travel? That way we could go much faster than the speed of the wind. Well, there's a trade-off and you can see it here. Look, when the sail is really close to the direction of travel, the component of the lift force in that direction is really small. So it would take a long time to reach that top speed. And actually that's only true in a world with no resistance. So in practical terms, there's an optimum angle for the sail. And actually that's part of the skill of being a good sailor.